Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We daily vlogs. If you enjoy this video, make sure you come back every day. Are you putting it at me? Yeah. Wow. Sarah's getting socks on, James. They're going to go to the park. Something. Or something. <laughs> Sarah um, and I had like a wacky day, kind of. <laughs> Not a lack of it, just like a, a weird day. Not even a weird day. We just we didn't get the vlog up today, okay? That's just the name of the game. And we didn't start vlogging until what time is it? It's five o'clock. And it's still like nice-ish. It's 60 degrees. So uh per Sarah's suggestion, I'm actually gonna go on my run. Yes. <laughs> yesterday. So you would run today. How cute is this kid right here? Yeah, so um, we had like the big fun yesterday, so I'm gonna go run during the day today, get on the lakefront, enjoy six degree weather while the sun's out for the next, um, I'll probably make it home after the sun gets down, but for most of my run, the sun will be up. So I'm gonna get going. I think they're gonna go to the park or something. And uh, ended up being a two part vlog, which I think is gonna be better because I think there'll be less of vlogging today because I'm gonna go run 12 miles. So I'll be gone a little over two hours. Um, and then whatever Sarah and James end up doing while I'm gone. And by the time I get back shower, it'll be like time to calm down before James gets put to sleep. But tomorrow's Friday. And today's pa Happy St. Patrick's Day, everybody. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I was giving Peter a hard time about it being chilly. But the last time I saw my phone, it was at like 62 degrees. Like, that is not chilly. But we got outside, I was like, oh. trying to pretend like it wasn't like a hint of chill, chill in the air. It's, it's dropped to 50 degrees, probably within like the last hour or two. Um, so I don't know. I like wasn't totally sure about going to the park. But the reason my day was wonky was I've just been like physically today like not feeling the greatest. Like just I don't know if it was just we stayed up too late last night or what. But just been like feeling the ups and the downs. So I was like I don't know if I really want to go to the park. If I really I wanted to get out and at least get outside today um so the walk would be better i think we're gonna go to mcdonald's i think that's i think that's our destination so we came in i gotta look outside what shop we're in <gasps> do you james a hat because it's just that chilly out they have a ton of kids stuff we gotta get him suited up for spring are you gonna wear this you're gonna just turn it, take it off. We were in Wrigleyville Sports. Got him the hat. Doesn't want to wear it. He usually does wear hats, like if he is chilly, he will, so. Oh, you gonna put it on now? Oi! But I did sign up for their rewards program and got a free tote. So we're nearing McDonald's. We got us a shamrock shake and some french fries. Check it out, Chicago. It's being rejuvenated day by day. No more ice, no, no more salt. Got waves going. The sun is up, not by setting, but it's almost six and the sun's still up, so. Feeling good. All right, so James is gonna try his very first shamrock shake. Whoa, what do you think? Do you like it? You haven't taken your lips off the straw. Do you like it? So 
I woke up this morning and realized that we really didn't plan for much today. Like, we were so busy last weekend and so like prepping what we were gonna eat and all of that. And like for actual St. Patrick's Day, we really didn't do much prep or, you know, plans to celebrate. So I thought a shamrock shake would be a good way. I'm actually not a fan of shamrock shakes. No, it's kind of blasphemous. He still hasn't taken his mouth off of it. Um, I don't know why I don't. I like mint. I like ice cream. I truly don't know. Um, but I shouldn't deny James one, right? Proud mom moment right here. Dip, dip, dip. It's yummy. We got three weeks until opening day. Are you ready, Jamesy? Beautiful. It's a little chilly as the sun's setting, but... Come on. Not the most beautiful city in the whole world. Come on, come on. Love it. Uh, yeah, I got six miles in, so... I'm gonna go see if that port over there is gonna lock this guy down. If not, I'll be stopping at Navy Pier. But um, I just had a little too much coffee today. And I need to get it out of my system after I run back. So six miles away from home. I have to go home now. If you guys remember, I haven't talked about it in a while, but that's my methodology. I run halfway away from home because even if I crawl home, I have to get my miles in back. So I will get my 12 mile run done today because I the only way I can get them is, is going six miles home. You guys know that we are suckers for Florida sunsets, but sunsets here are good too. Hold on, I'll turn around so it'll be in focus. With all the buildings and just like the silhouettes of the lights of Wrigley, I'm sure Peter's been showing off this guy during his run. Maybe he has, maybe he hasn't. He might be just focusing on running. But sunsets are pretty beautiful here too. This tote came in clutch because I remembered I had to get um, some plant-based milk. Jane, they were like really low on their on their uh, plant-based milk options. So we're gonna try cashew. And then we have like this brand of oat milk. And then I was gonna I was gonna surprise Peter with like a Guinness or like something Irish, like a little treat but I didn't have my ID. So I got him this energy drink that used to be one of his favorites in high school, Balls Guarana, just the original flavor. My nail polish from Violet, still going strong. All right, nine miles down, three more to go. But look at this, it's just before seven and the sun is setting. I do think by the time I get actually home, it'll be dark out, but I just got a quick 5K left and It's so bright out. I'm loving it. I am loving it. So dad did not get a McDonald's treat today. He's gonna want dinner when he gets home. So I am just frying up some veggies, onion, cauliflower, green pepper, and a zucchini. And then I think I'm gonna add some white beans to it and top it with this simmer sauce from Aldi. I don't think I'll need the whole thing. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Um, but then put it over rice. And then I also have some flatbreads I can throw in the oven. I meant naan, not flatbread. So these garlic naan are really yummy from Trader Joe's. So that'll be on the side. There it is, 12 miles done. I don't wear my watch when I go to the gym. So that's why it's only reporting 12 miles for the week, but 12 miles done on St. Patrick's Day. All right, I did use the whole can of the simmer sauce, so now it's just covered, sitting on low. Peter's home, so it'll be nice and hot by the time he's done. I'm all clean, and come to find out, my friends had a little dinner date. I'm very happy for them. So Sarah's not joining me for dinner, but she's right here. Don't worry. Hey, just doing dishes. Here's my final plating. It looks delicious. I cannot wait to dive into it. And here's the like naan bread she cooked up that I'm sharing with James right now. Smells good. It looks delicious. James, you might be getting too big for this carrier. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. We're running to Jewel to grab yes, Irish soda yes. bread. 
Spoon River in Guinness to finish off our St. Patrick's. Oh, it's just, just. Oh, yeah? Sidewalk talk with James. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I agree. Yeah, that's some good insight. You see those cars? That's a big car. It's turned. See, we're going to turn too. We went we right to the bakery thinking that was the move. And we thought they were sold out, but here we are. We're going to find the freshest looking ones. We're going to go on the Green River, but our jewel has them stocked all year long. Um, so they'll be back probably tomorrow or tonight even. Stew's getting heavy, especially after a, a long run. Um, success. We got everything we needed. I didn't get Guinness because I didn't want to buy a whole eight pack because I actually left my Guinness at the Sicards. Um, so I just got like two cans of other beer um, to be festivus, you know. But it's always fun when you leave a grocery store hoping just to grab a few things and you don't end up spending a bunch of money. It's been less than 20 bucks, so win, right? <laughs> Mom. Yeah. Mom. And we got Mama's brownie request. Um, mm -hmm. um, yeah? Um, I agree. Um, mm -hmm. Is that what you want to do this weekend? Um, yeah? It's a good idea. Um, oh, really? Um, I don't know about that. That sounds illegal. We could try. <laughs> Not exactly St. Patrick's Day, but kind of St. Patrick's Day. It's Scotland. James has just been like snuggled up on Sarah for like five minutes now. I'm gonna get some Green River on ice and a fancy cup for Sarah to indulge in a St. Patrick's Day fancy drink. What's this thing? Is he up on that mountaintop? She's incredibly brave. <laughs> some trout and coffee playing on my phone while I was cleaning up the toys. It is so late and I will find out in the morning if doing an orange theory um, the morning after running 12 miles is a smart or not smart move. Um, right now it's looking like it's not going to be a smart move because I felt really good during the run. I just was cruising. I, didn't, I wasn't trying to go fast or anything. I was just trying to enjoy being on the lake again. Um, but I'm starting to feel it now. Um, but we just kind of like, James was so excited to just like hang out and watch Brave and just being so cuddly. So we stayed up later and I think that that could be occurring slightly more often just because Sarah and I are getting to the point where reali the realization that it's not going to be just us and James soon is becoming closer and closer and uh this is a very special time that james was the first baby we brought home and had all this alone time with and that that will be changing for us it'll be changing for him it'll be changing for eve it'll be changing for teddy that's for sure um but we can't wait for that new chapter to begin but we're going to soak up these little moments especially as he is growing more and more into his little awesome personality um just seeing him react to the world. Him and Eve, he actually walked by Eve. Eve was laying on the ground. He squatted down next to her, trying to show her his toy fish, and then couldn't get close enough, so then he sat. And Eve stayed there the whole time, which was huge progress before she would just dart away. Um, so, yeah. Teddy will be here soon. And it'll be a whole new adventure for the Brookharts, and we're very excited. Did you fall asleep? No? You just eyes are adjusted to the dark? My eyes are so sensitive. sensitive. <laughs> yeah, it's not even that dark or light in here. Well, it looks like that because of our lens. There you go. If every bedtime was like that, <laughs> he was just so sweet. He was like, he barely even, because we were like doing water bottle at night, he barely drank it and just like talked and like had my face in his hands. Oh, just, so like, sweet. So sweet. I was telling the vlog just now that like we might end up having more nights like this where he stays up a little later just because we'll be changing soon. Yeah. I'll soak up all of it. 
in the last couple of weeks left of just just James Z and Eve with us. Yeah. Wow, well, I'm 31 weeks. Wow. So crazy. We'll know next week if, like, yeah, if, about if like even the option of a V-back is, is yeah there. Yeah. And we're also going to Cleveland. I can I on it in I'm two excited. weekends, so but so like a week from tomorrow. A week from tomorrow. I need to get my act together. We're going to Cleveland for Chelsea and Cole's wedding shower. So yeah. Like I just feel like we're at that moment where like you start to have like these like Checkers. benchmarks or like checkpoints that like time is gonna go by fast. Yeah. Are we ready? <laughs> what? Are we ready for another baby? I mean, like, yes, we are, but no, we're not, because... Yeah, I think we're going to start I'll bringing make... stuff from storage back. I, I, we have the bassinet and pieces underneath our mattress. I can make that this weekend. Yeah. I, I'm I really concerned really about like where... Just so I can get used to it. I'm concerned about where it's going to fit, because of having your parents' bedroom set. Of the daily message. Oh, yeah. Well, we'll film it when we go into our room and I'll just put it in here. Daily message, March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. You gain strength, courage, and confidence by every experience in which you really stop to look fear in the face. You are able to say to yourself, I lived through this horror. I can take the next thing that comes along. You must do the thing you think you cannot do. Eleanor Roosevelt. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Good afternoon. We are so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, we hope you will come back tomorrow. Jamesy is taking a rock star nap. Um, I took a nap yesterday when he napped, and so I didn't edit. So I got the first vlog up. I don't, I think, I think we'll probably have this like tail end yesterday's vlog. We're still figuring it out. But I am gonna get a jump start on editing that and feel productive to end my Friday before we're on like total weekend mode. This right here is the perfect pizza weather. All right, done working for the weekend, so that's cool. Um, big active weekend in regards to um I have, I have a special orange city class tomorrow called dry Tri, the dry triathlon um followed by the chicago shamrock shuffle on sunday and we've been sitting around waiting to watch the new spider-man that released this week digitally which we have so i'm gonna go get some little caesar's pizza because we're just like feeling it um, and then I'm gonna come back and hopefully watch that Spider-Man. We might have to wait until James is asleep later to watch it, but I do have orange theory in the morning, so, um, that's our Friday. And it's supposed to rain, it has been raining all day, and it's supposed to rain until the evening, so, kind of, it's kind of the perfect movie night, you know? A 30 minute, like, three mile drive. Here we are. And beyond! After two hours, Actually, more than two hours. James is awake, and he insists on watching Toy Story in his car. It's still rainy, but I got the pizza, and traffic should be better on the way back to the apartment. So hopefully, it won't be a thirty-minute drive. What in tarnation? Back to Toy Story. You don't even know what that is. <laughs> We've apparently gone two-thirds through a Toy Story trilogy tonight. James, you know you cannot stay that close to the TV. What are you doing? Causing a ruckus in the kitchen? Oh, nice. Oh, you're so sweet. Carry you? Did I fall asleep on the ground in front of the TV? For like 20 minutes, yes. I'm tired from my long run yesterday and my orange theory today. Oh, is it blue? Oh, they're playing nice and they smell. Oh, oh.
All right, so James was not thrilled, and after about 25 minutes, I conceded and let Sarah tap in and see, and we ended up having to give him a, um, another couple ounces for him to calm down. Um, but I'm going to let you guys know there's something coming up in June, and it's in Boston, Chicago, and I think LA. It's called Run Show USA. And it, I got notified because I got my virtual bag for Shamrock Shuffle. It's two days in Rosemont. And we got free tickets from the Shamrock Shuffle virtual bag. But Sally McRae is going to be one of the speakers. And Carl Lewis. And Dean Carnassus. And so many other good people, including Rudy uh, Novotny, who I think I've seen before Run Disney. He's a retired Run Disney MC. Um... There's just so many good names that are going to be there. But Sally McRae, one of my favorite ultra runners. Um, ACS is going to be there, but it's funny. I text, my, I text our ACS friend, Jenna. I was like, hey, you're going to be there because ACS is a booth. And she's like, no, but I see that Raymond Burma, who's like a director of the Endurance Series out in the Northeast region. I think I've met him on a, like a big Zoom call once. Nothing too personal, though. Um, he is giving a speech, a speech there, and ACS has a booth there, so she's like, I'll find out if, like, who from the office, like, who from the Chicago team, if anybody will be there. Um, so maybe our ACS friends will be there, too. But, yeah, unexpected, but very excited. Um, check it out. I think they're $15 tickets, unless you go join a race. Uh, there's sometimes free tickets in the virtual bags. And I had to put down, that was the first thing I had to put down two children for. Um, because we'll have little Teddy with us. Okay, we're daily messaging it. The difference between a successful person and others is not a lack of strength, not a lack of knowledge, but rather a lack of will. Vince Lombardi. We're going to sign off now because we're going to attempt to watch Spider-Man No Oh, Way Home. look at these graphics. This menu. Are you ready for your big weekend? Yeah. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>